Someone gave me some good advice when I first came to town. They said, you've got to get involved with people in Philadelphia. CCPA has a unique aspect of business and that they have to concern themselves with the composition and the demographic of the customer base. It not only shows what other people are doing and how they're uh, running their businesses, but it forms a core group of men and women who are committed to the ideas of boosting center city business and, and street life. As a business owner in Philadelphia, I think it's one of the greatest organizations. Uh, they really care about the small business people. Being a small business here, you don't have the clout of a Fortune 500. But when you get involved in something like CCPA, it puts you on a level playing field. It's more than just uh, talk of solutions uh, and techniques. You need that grassroots effort. There's a wonderful give and take and there's an exchange and there's a, there's a, a support among the organization that, that's just comforting and, and motivating. If you don't belong to CCPA, you're missing out on marketing opportunities, on sharing of information. It really is a way to get involved in the town, get involved in the, in the community. But it's just people who are willing to work together to improve their businesses and the city. When Ben Franklin first started trying to become a business person in Philadelphia in 1727, he formed an organization called the Leather Apron Club. It was a place for people to get together and gain a broader understanding of what was going on in Philadelphia. They were talking about what they could do to make their businesses stronger and what they could do to make Philadelphia a better place for business. 25 years ago, we were morning people. It, it was more coffee and tea at the commissary. In fact, the seven of us who started it were called the Commissary Seven, which was Stevens Restaurant on Sansom Street. We kind of talked about what we thought might be uh, a general need, a need to cooperate. Uh, I think proprietors, especially small business proprietors, are driven in some measure by fear. And uh, it's, I guess, more fun to be fearful together than it is to be fearful alone. We ran programs and publicized those programs, which brought people in. We began offering cooperative buying, uh, such as guest and format, or, or the map that was created, then not immediately, but eventually the, the insurance program. And hey, you had to be a member if you wanted to get in on the deal. People could come together in a very non-competitive atmosphere at that point to get this kind of information and develop a neighborhood. <laughs> Center City Proprietor's mission is twofold. It is first, to support small business owners, and second, to support the economic vitality of the whole city. You know, small business people uh, are really lonely. When they say it's lonely at the top, it's very lonely at the top, primarily when you're small business, because you don't know many people in your, in your position. Standing alone as a small business is really difficult, especially now when economic times are so tough. You need to have the support of other people who have been there and done it to tell you how to avoid the pitfalls that they went through. I've learned many things from other members. I've gotten networking tips. I've gotten suggestions for people who I can call to help me in situations. It's really a great think tank. The best thing, though, has been the members themselves and the relationships that that come from just meeting others and, and learning from one another. Center City Proprietors Association runs about 100 events a year, and all of the events that we run are driven by what our members want and need. And also fresh ideas. It's very hard sometimes when you're a small entrepreneur, you're in your business so much that you're not out uh, as much as you could be, and you, know, you maybe don't have time to take classes, but you can go to a CCPA meeting and all of a sudden get a really great idea about a little in-store event that you can hold, 
or you meet somebody who you really wanted to meet but you didn't have an opportunity to have that happen. Center City Proprietors created this event called It's Great to Live Here and it's an opportunity to see people's spaces, see the different architectural and unique spaces that people have here in the city. Everyone I have met at CCPA just is, couldn't be any nicer. I mean, uh, you go to a party, people go out of their way to come over and say hello to you if they have never met you. Obviously, they know you, uh, they greet you with a lot of warmth. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like a small little family, it really is fun. Well, City Strolls is one of the programs Center City Proprietors Association does that enables members to mix with one another and to showcase several restaurants in one evening. So it's a great networking opportunity. When I went to the Sexes in the City program, I learned so much about gender differences and how we think. Communication is a big theme, I think, for the organization. I certainly learned a lot from that particular program. The public forum series have been extremely successful. It's a great format for people to discuss their, their ideas, their problems, and we've come up with a lot of solutions. It's a dynamic, it's an exchange. People speak up, we listen, and then we don't take a point of view right away. We believe that educated discourse, providing people with good information is the basis for sound decision making. CCPA's Lunch with the City Leaders program is almost unique in the country and it um, serves really dual advantages. Um, first of all, it gives city leaders the opportunity to interact with small business owners, um, to hear their concerns, their perspectives on the future of the city, um, what's necessary to enable small business to thrive um, in the city and ultimately for the city to thrive and for the city's business community to thrive and grow. I think uh, CCPA is of immense help to the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce. Uh, an example is the recent convention center uh, challenge where we just had to make it more affordable and, and uh, improve its operation and I don't think we would one have been successful without CCPA's participation and two I, I don't think we could suggest to observers that we were uh, linked to grassroots effort without CCPA uh, being there. It's crucial to have that information flow. And one of the great things about uh, CCPA is that um, they do the type of things that are necessary for businesses to stay at the cutting edge. They do seminars, they do policy events, they new, do networking. And by just being a member of the Center City Proprietors, businesses give themselves a leg up on that information flow that's so crucial to stay ahead of the curve. When I think about where we're going and how we can attract more and better people, it's exciting, it's motivating. I see CCPA as an advocate for smaller businesses, smaller retailers, helping them thrive. And that's what gives Philadelphia its difference. Fundamentally, it's about the business and the business welfare and the maintenance of that business stability, the quality of life, the quality of life that is translated for the benefit of their customers. I, I think everyone recognizes the, the power and the, the immense reward that comes of working together. It, it's just, uh, uh, on face, it's encouraging to people. Uh, but in practical ways, uh, it says to a very discerning world or investors or capitalists or entrepreneurs or visitors uh, that we get it and we want to we ally together and, and you're going to sense that when you come here. If you're serious about being involved in Center City, working in Center City, I think you should get involved with CCPA. I raise my glass. Congratulations, 25 years, what an accomplishment, I know that. Uh, I hope I'll be here for the next 25 years. Maybe I'll be here, maybe I'll not be here. But I know you will be here and the business of Philadelphia will be very prosperous. Good luck, next 25.